We're going to start this puppy up. Clear? Crop? And welcome back to building the Afforda plane. This week, we're mounting the horizontal part onto the fuselage and getting it aligned. And we get to see how it interacts with the vertical part. So let's get started and see how far we can get today. Now let's temporarily install the horizontal stabilizer to see how it's going to fit. This is centered, and the front piece, our front gusset, is also centered. Now there is no top nor bottom to this at this point. And looking at our plans, we want three and a half inches between the back of our fuselage tube and the mounting bolt location, the one that we drilled all the way through. Now according to the plans, the mounting location, which is that center hole we drilled all the way through, have an eighth inch hole all the way through on the gusset, needs to be three and a half inches, check your plans, from the back of the fuselage tube. So we can mark a line three and a half inches, go across, and that will be the center of that hole. So we can locate that. Now, notice that working on any of this, our fin and rudder are in the way. So I'm going to remove this. Remember, we just have a bolt here and one up front and take this off because this doesn't add any value to our mounting at this time. Now, looking towards the front, and once, and once we get the rudder and fin out of the way, this will be easier to work on. We notice our front gusset and this is going to be mounted with an angle bracket on each side of our fuselage tube. So we have an extruded bracket angle we'll make a bracket out of and end up drilling through the tube on both sides attached to the side. So our next step is to simply remove this and of course, the lo exact location of this tube crossing the fuselage is determined when we set the back bolt in place that we just discussed. Now we're going to make the bracket from a 2 by 3 inch extruded angle by 1 quarter inch. That's pretty thick. And all we need is an inch of this. So on the back I've drew a line for my bandsaw and we need two of these one inch angles so I will cut two off of this. With the rudder removed we use our plans and locate our spot three and a half inches from the very back and halfway centered and that's where we're going to drill our first hole mark it, punch it and carefully drill through the top layer now our next task is to raise the stabilizer up until the top is even or at the same angle as the top of the fuselage tube. Now before we do that, we want to make sure our rear bolt is placed into the stabilizer hole and into the hole we drilled in the top of the fuselage tube and it's bottoming out on the bottom inside because we haven't drilled that hole yet. 
So we're pinned in the proper location. We have lifted this until this is at the same angle as the top fuselage tube. In other words, if we place a level here, and this is one of those digital types that tells me exactly what the angle is, or I can zero it out to zero, whatever makes more sense. We want to take it over to the stabilizer. And carefully raise the front of the stabilizer until we get the same reading. So in other words, by propping this up front, and I just have a little angle stuck in here, we have the angle of incidence identical to the top of the fuselage tube because we want that to be at that angle when it hits the oncoming airflow. So once this is propped up to the proper angle, we can clamp it if we want, at least hold it steady, and then we want to come back to our bolt and drill, remove the bolt, and drill all the way through to the bottom of the fuselage tube. That way we have our rear bolt at the proper angle to accommodate the angle of incidence that we want to eventually lock down in place. Now, here's our brackets that are going to hold the front on. They're going to go like this, underneath and against the side here. So we're going to drill these up on the bench where we can get a nice, accurate mark. So I'm going to take this off and take the stabilizer to the bench. All right, this is how we're going to help create a little jig to help our drilling here. This is just a scrap piece of our 2x2 two two fuselage tube and I just set it on top. It doesn't have to be very long. Here are our brackets that we had cut one inch by 2x3 by and we're going to have one go up against here and the other one like this on the other side and I'm going to clamp them in place and that will hold them in place here, get them kind of even. Nothing critical about any of this. The idea here is to, this is going to mimic our rear fuselage tube. And I've drawn some lines basically down the center of each of these. And I have centered this between the two so that we got the center coming right here. And what I want to do is transfer these lines up. Now, I'm going to make a mark across the top and a line over here across the top. And these will be the places where we will drill our holes. So I have transferred the line here and here. I'll take this, put it flat on the workbench, and punch and drill straight through, starting off with a 1 8 inch bit and keep it very straight all the way down through the bottom and then I will increase that. We're going up to 3 16 but before we do that we'll stop at the 1 8 through each of these 
and then move this on top so we can punch the holes, drill the holes through very accurately using our two inch spacer there. Use a square to get a good straight. Now we're going to set up our jig again and bring our stabilizer up on top. Here's the two holes we just drilled and we want to center this in between. Make sure that everything is square and this is centered over this from front to back and left to right. And then what we're going to do of course then is once that all looks good is to go down and drill or at least start the drill anyhow. And I recommend drilling the first one through then we'll come back and pin this together before drilling the second one so that there is no movement. So basically we're setting the holes in each of these while it's clamped together on the piece and nothing moves. That way we know that this will fit nicely back on the fuselage. Of course be aware that the gusset down here will be sitting on top of the surface and will cause it to rock a little bit so you want to make sure it's nice and steady while marking and drilling through there. This won't be a problem when we mount it because we'll end up putting washers in here to fine adjust the height. And now with a pin holding things together between the brackets I'll go ahead and start drilling the second one and finish it. Then when we're done these will both be open to 3 16 for bolts. And now we can open these up to 3 16 one at a time and I'll pin with a bolt while drilling the second one then. And here's the end result. I have put three washers in there and that clears the gusset got a little bit closer on each side and temporary nuts and bolts but the idea is now that we have a nice fit when we go to adjust this. We're not going to drill these yet because we still have to set the incidence, the angle just right and then we will mark a hole and drill and go all the way through. And we also have additional adjustment here. We could always add another washer or two to raise it up and down. But for the most part, we should be ready to go by taking it back over to the aircraft and placing it on there. And then we can mark the left and right. In preparation for installing the stabilizer we should first draw a center line just behind our bracket here center between top and bottom in this area then we want to add approximately three to four washers and place it over the hole because we need to keep the back end up by about three eighths off the surface. Then we can install the stabilizer. And we're going to insert the bolt right through the washers. And this keeps this off the top by about three eighths and then our brackets are up here. Now our goal is to level this with the top of the fuselage tube so that they are identical and we're going to do that by using a clamp to clamp these at the proper location. So by adjusting this up and down, 
we can find where it is the same incline as the top of our fuselage tube. And now we want to mark where that center line touches these brackets on each side so that we can draw the line across at the center at this bracket. And then we can take this off and drill a hole through that line centered between the two sides. And then we'll put this back on and use that hole to drill all the way through our fuselage tube, keeping the lines aligned so that we can put it back to the same location. And then this will be a AM3 bolt going across. And in the future, find adjustments to the level can be done by adding or subtracting washers here and at the back end if we ever need to. We have removed the brackets and marked the location for the hole. I'm only going to drill a 1 8 inch hole and then reassemble so that when we put this up against the fuselage tube we'll use the 1 8 inch hole as a guide for drilling into the tube. With the stabilizer reinstalled and checking that we got the angle of incident in its proper location it is reclamped and now we can go ahead and drill through our hole and into the tube and then Clico. And we'll go do the other side and after opening it up make sure you can drill all the way to the other side. And then we can reassemble. And then a bolt should go all the way through to the other side. You can verify the inclination again. Also, later when we finalize the bolts and hardware, mm -hmm. a large washer will go under each of these to give a little more surface area to the top of the tube. And same with the first washer underneath here, should be one of the large washers, and that will support the tube a little more secure. We can also add the elevator and see how that works. Okay, and here's with the elevator attached, plenty of upward motion and we're going to have to make some adjustments to get a little more downward motion. Uh, I'm going to add the vertical part just to make sure everything fits. Our rudder and our elevator. So we have made great progress here. We do have a bunch of hardware that needs to be finalized and it looks like to get some more downward elevator travel we need to raise it above at the back connection here we have it currently set at 3 8 I'd like to add another 3 8 which will bring this tube up and allow this to go down because it contacts the fuselage tube right here at the lowest point but that will be an easy fix. And of course, if we raise this by 3 8 we have to raise the front by 3 8 to keep our angle of incidence, the angle of attack uh, equivalent or the same.
So it started to look like an airplane. And here are the large washers, which we'll use in our final assembly. They just give the tube a little more surface contact, which is good for strength. Even though the tube is round from left to right or laterally, there's more contact with the larger washer. And I'll add one below also. Now we need to add a elevator horn so that we have a means of attaching a control to it to move it up and down. And we also need to add our wire bracing. That's what these holes here are for. And we'll put a 3 16 bolt in there and make up some wire cables. So there you have it. This thing is starting to look like an airplane now. And did I hear somebody say something about building wings? That's coming up very shortly. We still have a few odds and ends to take care of. But boy, I want to thank the patrons. We got a bunch of them now. They're really making this thing take off. Thanks to all of you out there. And until next time, back to building.